are the things you do not want to do for your gut in 2024? Go on a restrictive diet, especially if this means cutting out whole food groups, and especially if that food group is carbohydrates. Restrictive diets can lead to undernutrition and also missing key nutrients or things like fiber that are essential for gut function and gut health long-term. As a dietitian who works with digestive disorders, one of the biggest things I see around springtime are people who are now having major gut issues, especially constipation, after a restrictive diet that they started. Start a cleanse or detox program. Unless you are with a very trusted, legitimate healthcare provider that knows your health history and is able to tell you exactly why you're going through some sort of protocol or program, if you go into it killing or trying to kind of reset things in your body by doing things that are drastic, your gut is going to be responsible for taking all that stuff that you're bringing in and figuring out what to do about it. This may lead to short-term symptom relief, but often it can lead to long-term symptoms down the road or just wasted money because the symptoms come back. On that same line, don't start a huge list of supplements all at once. And this is true even if you are working with a trusted provider. When you start a lot of supplements all at the same time, it's going to be hard to see how each supplement is actually impacting your body. So it's going to be difficult to even measure success that you're looking for or side effects that may be going on. Supplements are not always safe and they're not always effective for every single person. So it's important to make sure that any supplement that you are using has a purpose behind it. You know the plan of how you're going to monitor it and you add it one at a time strategically with your healthcare team. And one of the most important ones, don't just shut down and completely give up after the holidays. It can be tempting to just be overwhelmed by New Year's resolutions or just even how you feel currently. And that may lead you to shut down and say, well, who even cares and why should I even try? When it comes to your health and your digestive health, you are worth feeling better. And it doesn't have to be overwhelming or this huge drastic change in your life. You can make small intentional choices and still reach your goals this year.